Well, hello again. It's V from IELTS Speaking. Welcome back to the series 31 Extra Part 2 Topics. And this is Category 2, Describing Places, Episode 3. In this episode, I want to cover the rest four topics. Well, we've talked about a tall building and a stadium in the first two episodes. In this episode, I want to put the focus on a garden in a place in another country where you'd like to work temporarily. Also, I'm going to cover the last two topics in this category, a place where you relaxed and a place you often visit. But I'm going to go through these two topics very quickly because I think that they're quite easy for you. To talk about garden, you have to describe firstly what there are at the garden, you know, the flowers, the trees, or maybe a pond with a school of fish and stuff like that. And the next thing to cover in your description is the activities that you or anyone else can do at that garden. There are several options. Number one, you can talk about an orchard, which is a fruit garden. And what you can do there is climbing the trees and tasting the freshly picked fruit. Another option is to talk about a flower garden with colorful and, cr and fragrant flowers on exhibition, together with a number of shade trees. Fragrant is an adjective that means having pleasant smell, and shade trees are trees that provide shade. So you can visit a flower garden to admire the beauty of the flowers, or you can sit under shade trees and uh, enjoy yourself uh, with a great book, for example. Another idea is to talk about an ordinary backyard garden that you can easily find, maybe at your friend's house. So you can go there and you can have a barbecue and then you can enjoy the decorations with evergreen and flowering shrubs. They are exactly what you can see in the picture on the screen right now. Last but not least, I want to introduce Garden by the Bay in Singapore. And as you may know, this is one of the world's most amazing gardens with a spectacular display of lights on tree-like vertical gardens and conservatories. Conservatories are basically giant greenhouses where rare and precious species of plants and flowers are taken care of very well. Let's move on to this topic. Actually, it's not as difficult as it may look, especially if you have gone through the first three topics. You can totally adapt the ideas okay, to talk about a garden, a stadium, and a tall building for this topic. For example, you are going to graduate from university, but you want to make, so you want to take a gap year before you go back to school for a master's degree or before you go to work. And you want to do something fun or a little bit crazy or you want to pursue your dream or your interest in that one year. So you may want to go to Singapore and work in the Garden by the Bay because uh, you are a flower lover. You like to work in a botanical garden where you can take care of and uh, admire many rare and precious species of flowers and plants and to commune with nature makes you feel so relieved, so happy and it gives you a chance to, you know, stay away from the hustle and bustle of your ordinary life. To commune with nature means to be close to nature. Or maybe you want to work in Disneyland to immerse yourself in the joyful atmosphere there. To immerse yourself in something means to be surrounded by something or to get involved in that thing, to have or to do a lot of that thing. And finally, the idea is to talk about a financial building, of course, overseas. Maybe you want to work there as an intern, um, as an intern accountant or something like that. Similarly, I highly recommend going back to the first two episodes to get some vocabulary and ideas so you can handle topic number five and number six with ease. 
All right, that's it for episode number three. See you in the next one, the last episode in category two. And in the next video, I'm going to show you a list of vocabulary to describe any places, and I'm sure you don't want to miss it. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my fan page to keep yourself up to date with any new videos and lessons. Thanks again, and bye for now.